Hey everyone, welcome back to another XO Zeros video. So today we're going to summon for Black FC Jin. But before that, if you want an updated XO Zeros content, please hit the subscribe button down below. Okay, guys, here we go. So the reason why I'm actually summoning for Black FC Jin, you're telling me, uh, Warden, don't don't summon, don't bother yourself. But again, I wanted to test his kit. I was kind of intrigued by his passives. Um, probably um, a different perspective on using FC Jin. And I have a feeling that I might be able to use um, this FC in the future. So again, guys, I'm just going to test him out first. Um, he's a Black Fate Core, of course. And usually we do get copies of Black Fate Cores. But for this one, just only one copy is what I need. So hopefully I could summon him now and exit early so that i could probably test him give you feedback on how to use him so what but without further ado let's start with the summoning session so let's have one multi pull first so let's have it a skip on the door i haven't done that many summoning uh, sessions actually so um so basically i haven't i haven't oh here's one on the first one so if i get him here i really got him here i'm sorry <laughs> but that's it <laughs> that's it guys that's all folks <laughs> on the first one um okay so do i do i continue um let's see let's see who i got first okay the first pull so is it worth for me to continue um i'm not sure at this point i'm actually speechless i don't know what to do anymore so let's probably hmm, let's go over his kit one more time let's go over his kit because i think <laughs> This is very underwhelming and not even a thrill in terms of the summoning. I only needed one again, guys. I don't want to recruit more because I need I need to save up Zest for the next gold banner as well. But again, let's go and see his... Uh, what they call this? Let's go and see his... Um, sorry. His kit. So where is he? He's going to be here can't believe i got him in the in, in one pull so here is Jin. so again let's take a look at uh, his passive so for his passive again he has finishing blow of course three attacks if an enemy takes damage and health drops to 10 percent or less and blah 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 the rest i already have Jin at unleash potential full um i just have to more or less make sure that his core memory is going to be good so life jacket is actually again this is just a short review of what he has in terms of passive because i'm interested in pulling this off life jacket if an if an ally is affected by a debuff moves all removes all debuff from ally increases critical hit for all allies by 300 for eight turns this is actually a very good utility skill especially for the um, um their version of the summer units or they're, they're, they're not called the summer fiesta i think summer paradise is what we call them but anyway next is your imitate dive grand stealth so he has stealth for two turns so he can't he actually i think has higher dodge for this one and increases on attack for 10 percent for each mana on self upon reviving okay so again this this reviving portion there are two people or there are two heroes that can help him with this one so you have um legger because he is with uh, she is with the storage republic i'm actually building her as well but primarily she can be used with luna um paired with luna of course but again, if you don't have Luna, and if you have Legger, this can be triggered by Legger. So um, this is actually good as well. Increases on attack. Uh, 
after he was revived. Then the last one, which is actually very good, which I'm keen on um, pairing him with Janai. So surfing, it's a debuff. When an ally besides self attacks a charmed enemy, attacks one of the targets together and decreases the attacks, the target's attack speed by 30. So this one, this is very utility, and um, again, with your with my Junai that has been increased in terms of charm, this will actually be um, very interesting to pull off. Um, this is actually situational again, but again, most of the um, heroes that are affected by charm is mostly on the front row. The back row is usually not affected, but again, this is this is very good because. Attack speed influences um, the the turns that a hero has. So again, for my for my Jinai, I just want to show you guys. I already have built up my Jinai, and uh, her attack is actually at nine thousand seven seventy nine. And for Historic Republic Signature Force, I'm already down to the last uh, what they call this the last one. Um, the last slot for Signature Force for Stories. So let's just take a look at it. Just a quick bit. So here. So more or less, this is it. Um, I'm just waiting for a copy of, uh, of Janai to put here. But again, for FC Jin to be able to function well, especially competitive for PvP. Sorry, not that one. Um, Fate Core. Um, his core memory has to be um, has to be what they call this has to be on the fives so do I have a friend here who has fives or no so only three so again so there you have it so again you have to work on your core memory for FC Jin to be competitive so again signature force and core memory is crucial so far, I have a lot of people here who have got him. But again, at this point, probably at the end of the week, I might decide to pull for him um, additional copies. But as of now, guys, I'm pretty much happy to get at least a one and done for him. I'm sorry I didn't showcase that much of FC Jin, but rest assured guys in my other future videos you will i'll do other summon videos especially for gold fated units anyway guys if you have reached the end of this short video please consider subscribing also please click the bell icon put a like to this video and thank you guys stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here